next to our uh, next set of salisuras that's our uh, fifth and sixth salisura but of course we we'll go ahead or uh, we we'll revise the first four with a karam mm ah <clears throat> first one ha the third spin up uh, see as i already told you the reason why we do alapana or the akaram is to get a very very good and strong fundamental for your future learnings of varnas and um, uh, manodharmam that's called akaram and uh, alapana and all that but i would prefer you guys first learn the first three speeds of this early swaram with the notations that is sarigama padanisha uh, in only three speeds first second and third colors and then try with the akaram and the ukaram that will actually give you confidence to go ahead the reason why i am doing it simultaneously is to make you understand the difference between the akaram and the swaraj right uh let's do our uh, third salisuram in akaram ha <laughs> I probably understand for uh, somebody who just started learning the salisvaras doing the third column that we nakaram is little difficult but really don't bother about it you just try to increase the speed a little uh, you know uh, slow by slow or take it a step by step and you guys will be able to do it fine uh, let's do our uh, fifth salisvaram today <clears throat> re ga ma pa da sa re sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga sa ni sa ni da pa ma ga re sa this one is a little different from all the other four that we have learned this thing was a little up and down with this swaraj or they have played with this swaraj so when you are learning this particular uh, sali swaram you guys have to be careful with this swarasthanam swarasthanam is nothing but a specific space that has been located for every swara so you got you have to be very very careful when you do this pada sare it's like you take two steps up and then come down two steps down so just be careful with that sare ga ma pada sare so once you reach the you're coming back to sir pada sare sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma 
ग सानी सानी दी अकारम फॉर दिस not worry to do the akaram right now get the feel of the swaras get the swarasthanas right and then do practice with the akaram uh, let's do the same salaswaram in your second speed i repeat in the second speed or the second column one beat holds uh, two swaras sare gam pada sare sare gam pada ni sa sa ni ra pa ma ga सानी सनी राप मग रे सै टू रिपीट दिस सरे गम पद सरे सरे गम पद नी सानी राप मग सानी सनी राप मग रे सज यूजल लज दिया कर सरे गम पद सरे सरे गम पद नि सनी राप मग सानी सनी राप मग रे सो एवरी बीट होल्ड फोर स्वरस सरे गम पद सरे सरे गम पद नि सनी राप मग सानी सनी राप मग रे सैट Uh, i hope you have you have got an idea about this particular uh, a different sadli swara that you have learned uh, so far let me go to the next sadli swaram for you <clears throat> it goes like this sa re ga ma pa da ni so you are trying to take a gap uh, if you remember we did something with pa uh, take uh, uh, whole pa for two counts The same thing works here, but we are trying to uh, do with the upper notes. That's ni and re. Sa re ga ma pa da ni. Sa re ga ma pa da ni. Sa sa ni da pa ma ga re. For this holding, you know, rather than just making it very, very uh, straight and bland, you can add a little sangati. Magari, it's like singing re four times. Re, that itself make a sangati, which is like you're swinging, right? Let Let's do it once again. Sa re ga ma. padani sare ga ma padani sa sa ni da pa ma ga re sa ni da pa ma ga re let you be a karam for this <clears throat> oh 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 as i said when we do this uh, a knee and re because we are uh, holding four notes let's try to do it a little swing which will add absolutely a beauty to it knee so you you are kind of counting knee for four knee but just add a little swing 
ಪದನೀ Let's do the same thing in the second color. <clears throat> Sarre ga ma pa da ni Sarre ga ma pa da ni Sa ni da pa ma ga re Sa ni da pa ma ga re Sarre ga ma pa da ni Sarre ga ma pa da ni Sani da pa ma ga re Sani da pa ma ga re Even for this particular Sali Shuram Uh, you guys have to be careful with these varasthanas again because it's like you know taking two steps ahead and then you're coming back to re and then you're going up to ni sarre ga ma pa da ni sarre ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni ra pa ma ga re sa ni ra pa ma ga re sa the third bit sarre ga ma pa da ni sarre ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni ra pa ma ga re sa ani da pa ma ga re sa sa re ga ma pa da ni sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga re sa ni da pa ma ga re sa let's do a karam for this a a let's do a revision of the two swaras that we did only with anakaram uh, or let's do a little deviation let's do ukaram for for now uh, ukaram is nothing but why do we use an ukaram uh, basically is uh, there is a format called manodharmam in music wherein you actually explore the raga using akaram and ukaram and so this early swara the practice that we are going to do with akaram and ukaram is a base for that uh, as we do with a uh, just replace a uh, with u Ah, is what you sang now till now so let's do it with the ukaram oh this particular thing adds a lot of flair and lot of weight uh, to your sangatis oh 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 all the uh, salisuras uh, that we have learned till now in ukaram o o o this particular learning uh, will help all of us to get a very very strong uh, base uh, for your future learning and basically when you go with varna see once you are done with the basics and we enter into varnas these akaram and ukarams will help you to get the hold of the ragam and give you a very very strong weight so let's do a very very fast recap of the uh, the two uh, two saliswaras that you have learned ಸರಿ ಗ ಮ ಪ ದ ಸರಿ ಸರಿ ಗ ಮ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಸ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಸ ನಿ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಸ ಸರಿ ಗ ಮ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಸರಿ ಗ ಮ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಸರಿ ಗ ಮ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಸ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಸ ಸರಿ ಗ ಮ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಸರಿ ಗ ಮ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಸ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಸ